From the moment man first looked up at that glowing orb in the sky, he has been mesmerized by the moon. Whether chasing striped bass in the Chesapeake Bay or planning a fishing trip around the spring spawn in Texas, fishermen know well the important role the moon can play on fish behavior. Admittedly, man's fascination with the moon has always lagged behind his understanding of it. And so lore and legend abound in any discussion of the moon and its effects on all creatures, wild and tame. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Hopefully everybody out there is enjoying this mini-series on the lost lessons of the Bass Professor, Doug Hannon. In this episode, we're going to look at what the Bass Professor had to say about the moon phase, and we're also going to talk about this, the Doug Hannon Moon Clock. Retro Bassin, kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures Coming off of Zepco 33 Out on the bass boat making beer cans float Doing some trespassing Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules Welcome to Retro Bassin through experience and note-taking, the bass professor Doug Hannon developed what he coined Hannon's Lunar Factor to predict peak fish activity, not just during different phases of the moon, but during different hours of every day in the calendar year. On a macro level, Hannon stated that most successful outdoor experiences have been proven to occur within three days before and three days after the full, and especially the dark or new moon. It is often stated that bass spawn after the first full moon when the water temperature reaches 60 degrees. And my buddy John at Smallwater Charters swears the full moon moves new fish into the shallows each spring. The moon orbits the earth every 27.3 days, which is why we have roughly one new moon and one full moon every month. In addition to that, the earth also rotates on its axis once every 24 hours which is why we get one good look at both the sun and the moon each day. This is where the major and minor feeding periods come into play. Now the moon's gravitational pull on the earth in any one spot is greatest when the moon is either directly above or directly below the earth. These each happen twice a day, which corresponds to the two major feeding periods in each day for bass. And when the moon is exactly halfway between either of these two positions, you have the two minor feeding periods in each day. Now, if you're a saltwater fisherman like me, you know that the two major periods correspond to high tides and the two minor correspond to low tides. Of course, all this can make your brain spin, which might be why the Bass Professor developed the moon clock in 1981 to detail all the most productive fishing and hunting times in a calendar year. Yes, they are specific for the year and amazingly, they're still made today and available from moon times for $11.95. I have not ordered my 2023 moon clock yet, but you better believe I will before this episode gets out. Now let us talk about how the Doug Hannon moon clock works. Okay, here are a couple different versions of the Doug Hannon moon clock. First, we've got a vintage Doug Hannon moon clock I picked up. This is the 1983-1984 version. And this is made by the Turn Corporation in Seminole, Florida. Here uh, is actually a 2022 moon clock available from Moon Times. And you can see it is absolutely a genuine original Doug Hannon moon clock. These clocks are specific for the year. And every year Moon Times puts out a new Doug Hannon moon clock. And here are the directions for the moon clock. I think this is my 2019 moon clock but I just flipped it over so you can sort of see what's doing. So how does the moon clock work? Well, let's read the directions. To determine the best times for bird watching, fishing, hunting, or observing wildlife, turn the wheel to align the month pointer with the day. The windows will show AM and PM periods of excellent, major, and good, minor activity. Hannon's Lunar Factor. According to Doug Hannon, the most successful outdoor experiences have been proven to occur when the dark, new, or full moon falls within the three brackets of the moon phase window. This window clearly pinpoints the dark, new, or full moon 
as well as all phases in between. Peak activity. Peak activity during the month occurs three days before and three days after the full and especially the dark new moon. So let's try a couple of different examples here and let us pretend that it is December of 2022 and let's start off with December 7th. So we'll go ahead and find December on the moon clock. There it is. We will spin that around to the 7th. So as we can see, uh, this is the full moon in standard time and we're going to have good fishing on either side of that full moon for three days. Now over here we have two different windows. Uh, this is the window for good fishing, which is the minor feeding period. And here is the window for excellent fishing or the major feeding period. So looking at the time of day for the good fishing period, uh, looks like it's somewhere between about 4.15 and 6 a.m. And for p.m. it is somewhere between 4.45 and 6.15 p.m. Now the major feeding period of the day on that same day of the month uh, looks like it's between uh, 10.30 and 12.30 a.m. And between 10.45 and 12.45 p.m. So let's go ahead and move the moon clock to December 16th, a little bit later in the month, and we'll see what that does for the feeding times. Okay, so we've got our moon clock set to December 16th. Uh, looks like it is a third moon decreasing. And the two different periods of the day, we've got an excellent period here. Uh, AM, we've got about 5.30 AM to 7.30. And 6 PM to 8 PM. Uh, the good minor period, looks like that is around 11.30 AM to 1 PM or from 12 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move our moon clock ahead to the noon moon, which in December uh, of 2022 was on December 23rd. So there, our moon clock is set to December 23rd. I'll hold it up just in case you guys are having trouble seeing. But we can see where we're set right there. And this corresponds with the new moon. So we're going to have excellent fishing on three days on either side of that new or dark moon. Now let's look at the two different uh, feeding periods, the uh, minor and the major. Looks like the minor feeding period is going to be best uh, between 5.15 a.m. and 7 a.m. As well as 5.45 and 7.15 p.m. Now the excellent period or the major feeding period each day in that window is gonna be, let's see here, 11.15 up to 1.30 a.m. Not a lot of people probably fishing during those hours unless you're doing some catfishing. And also looks like about 11.45 a.m. to 1.45 p.m. Overall, what I love about this is it is actually pretty simple. It's kind of a no-brainer. And it is made of this uh, sort of like a plastic material, almost like a, uh, I don't know, sort of like a credit card or something a little bit thinner. So it is definitely going to be waterproof, something you could totally throw in your tackle box and use it when you need it. Next week in our Lost Lessons of the Bass Profession mini-series, we are going to look at the signature lures of Mr. Doug Hannon. And we're also going to take a flip through of this 1987 Burke catalog, which has some old school Doug Hannon gold inside. But if you're looking for some more old school content right now, click here. Otherwise, I'll see you right back here, same time, same place next week. And until then, keep the carpet side up. And definitely, fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassoon.